So as you subscribers here at Anthony Sequera on YouTube know, I recorded a bunch of videos for you regarding Windows 11. It's been a very confusing, problematic rollout for Microsoft to say the least. But uh, I was looking at the videos that I created for you and I realized that there was one important category that I left out when it comes to installation videos. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's take a look at as of March, 2022, let's take a look at what's going on if you wanted to do a clean install of Windows 11, okay? So scorched earth, clean install, not an upgrade, and you're on unsupported hardware. Yeah, we're gonna try and pull this off in this video. Thanks for joining me. All right, so if everything goes according to plan, this is gonna actually be really easy. Of course, that's a big if, and I'm gonna do this you know, live for us, so there'll be no tricks up my sleeve here at all. All right, so here's what we need to do. We need to go to the Windows 11 official download site. Now, please make sure you're at this official Microsoft download site. Make sure you make sure the, uh, the certificate is valid and trusted. What's been happening is there's been plenty of malware being injected into fake Windows 11 hack downloads that will indeed do a clean install for you, but you're also getting all the malware. Isn't that swell? So what we're going to do is we're going to create our bootable USB to do the install because, again, we want to do the scorched install. So I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, media download tool installed here. And notice this is really, really quick. Um, I forgot about that. You noticed I was a bit surprised. I'm sure that it downloaded that quickly because it's not the ISO. So this is just a little setup program that's going to download very, very quickly for us because again, this is uh, not the actual ISO. Now it, this program will bring the ISO down. That's going to take quite a bit of time once I accept the license agreement and I will pause the video because when we get back we're going to see how we burn this to a USB drive and then we'll be booting from the USB drive and let's see here all right Windows 11 uh, I'm actually gonna uncheck the use the recommended let's just see what's available in here okay it's gonna be Windows 11 English US that's perfect uh, Let's go ahead and say next, and I want to do the USB flash drive. So it is going to see our drive. Keep in mind, everything on that drive is going to be removed. So make sure that drive just consists of junk because it is going to be prepped for this ISO download. The ISO will be put on that disk, that, uh, that disk, the drive, the thumb drive, and then this thumb drive is going to be bootable and we need to make sure we know how to tell our BIOS to boot to a USB device. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be booting to this thumb drive and then we're gonna be hacking the Windows registry to bypass the hardware check. All right, more in a moment as I will pause now while this progress is completing. All right, well, that was painless. That finished up. As you can see, I get a message that says the flash drive is ready. I click finish and it'll do a nice little self cleanup. Oh, look, I was just about to play some Texas Hold'em after this video. <laughs> a little bit too much information. All right, so I went in the BIOS of my system. I inserted the USB stick. I rebooted the system with the USB stick in after telling the BIOS to boot to the USB hard drive as the first option. And we get the familiar install Windows screen, except we're not going to install. We are going to hit on the keyboard, we're going to press shift plus function 10. So of course, on my keyboard, I had to do three keys. I had to do the shift key, the function key, and then the F10 key. And that, of course, brings us to a command prompt where we are going to type reg edit. So what is our registry modification? We are heading to H key local machine and we are going to go to the system key and we are going to go, no surprise, to setup. We're going to right click this setup 
and we are going to choose to create a new key. We're going to name this lab config and notice we have the new key now and what we are going to do is right click this new key and say new and we are going to do a 32-bit D word value and this is going to be by pass TPM check and we're going to go ahead and save that name make sure you have it correctly obviously and then we are going to double click this and we are going to set it, set its value to one and say okay so there we go and then we are going to right click lab config we're going to do a new key you guessed it it's going to be another 32-bit D word and we are going to say uh, this is bypass secure boot check. So notice we are bypassing both the TPM uh, uh, check, the secure boot check, and we are going to make sure we get this thing installed. So there we go. We set that value to one. And now we are ready to go ahead and proceed by clicking the Install Now button that we've made the registry modifications. So there you have it, everyone. I will put a nice step-by-step -step of those instructions in the comments below, or in the description below, I should say, so you can even copy those values that you need right out of there. So uh, yeah, I'm looking over my uh, camera here in the distance at my nice Dell uh, Aurora. It's an Alienware system and it wasn't going to pass the CPU or the TPM check. And now Windows 11 is installing just fine. And it's a personal use system. I'm an advanced user. I understand I won't be able to take advantage of all of the security features that Microsoft is going to push to that system. And I don't care. I don't need those additional security features. So if you're in the same boat, consider it. Thanks so much for watching.